We travel to open our minds and our hearts. Let's make friends around the world. In this video, I'll be showing you what I've packed in my travel diaper bag for flying with my seven month old baby. But I'm also bringing other items on the plane as well. This one has some cloth diapers and a travel potty. So this bag is what I would take with me to the bathroom if I get up and take my baby to the lavatory. And then in this rolling suitcase, I have most of my baby's cloth diaper stash packed. And I will be wearing my Lily Jade crossbody clutch with my essentials like my phone and our passports. And I have this cute little Orchid Hearts design coin purse. I just want to show you how cute it is, but that would be packed inside. Also, our family will bring on this Logan Lenora Weekender as another carry-on bag. They'll have pillows and blankets for our kids and snacks for the whole family. Let's look inside my travel diaper bag for flying with my seven-month-old baby. This bag contains pretty much everything except for the diapers. This is a Lily Jade diaper or travel bag, and this specific one is called the Jennifer. I thought this was gonna be a much larger, like duffel style, so I thought I was going to be able to fit all the cloth diapers in here, but it's a bit smaller bag than I anticipated, so let's go ahead and see what I was able to fit. It has this nice long zipper pocket across the front where I put items more for myself rather than my baby. I have my glasses case so I can take off my glasses and get comfortable on the airplane. This little travel wet dry pouch has a toothbrush for each family member in here. I will add my tooth powder on our way out. And it also has a little mini hairbrush and I'll be putting some more hair ties in there just to keep us a little bit fresh and up on our travels. The one other item I have in here is my Lily Jade wallet. So I don't use this too much while I'm in transit, but once we get to our destination, if I take out a big withdrawal of money, I'll put it in here and put this into the safe box at our hotel. That's it for what I was able to fit in this front pocket along here. This is a pretty lightweight bag. This is the nylon version of the bag with just leather straps on it and it only weighs about two pounds, which is nice. They also do have a full leather version in kind of a reddish brown color. It weighs a little bit more, but still not too much. This back pocket here, all I'm going to have in this one is just an envelope that contains each of our children's birth certificate and then also a letter from us giving consent for a minor to travel. Normally a letter like that's only needed if it's just one parent traveling with a minor or somebody other than the parent traveling with them. But we were asked for that when we applied for our visas for Thailand, so we figured we might as well have it with us just in case. It's nice that this bag can be carried as a tote bag on your shoulder. It can be carried as a backpack, which I'm planning to do, or you can also attach this strap as a crossbody, or I have a different crossbody strap as well. So lots of carrying options. When I pack my bag, I try to pack the items that I'm most likely to need right here so I can just unzip it a little bit and get them out. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the logic of how I have this arranged. So first of all is the item I know for sure I'll be using. This is a cotton mesh blanket. It's a Wombi air wrap blanket. And I use this both as a lightweight blanket for my baby and also as a nursing cover. I was almost going to pack a separate nursing cover, but I decided just to put that in a separate bag since I will for sure be using this one or I could also use my sweater to cover up a little bit. And I try to have things kind of stacked nicely to keep this a bit organized. This particular bag is just considered travel or lifestyle bag, so it doesn't come with a diaper bag organizer. Lily J does sell this separate organizer that you can use and I can fit some of my items into this to make the bag really neat and organized, but I just can't fit in quite as much if I use the organizer, so I'm going to be leaving this out. And this particular bag wouldn't come with the organizer, you'd have to purchase it separately. Some of their more diaper bag style bags come with the organizer. So on this far end here, I have one of these Indestructibles books, a little bit of entertainment for my baby. Also, I got each kid one new toy for the plane ride. So I got this Rattle by Banner Toys. These are handmade in the USA. I really like this brand. So this will be brand new for my baby to have something exciting on the airplane day. Over here, I have his little packing cube. 
that fits most of his clothes in here. He also has a separate bag in here with some other warm clothes for the airplane. So I plan to already have him dressed in a long sleeve shirt and long pants, but he has things like his tank tops, short sleeve shirt, one extra warm shirt, some socks and leg warmers in here. So this is pretty much this bag is going to contain all of his clothes that he's not wearing. We go really minimalist when it comes to baby clothes. Up next is his water bottle. Our whole family has Hydro Flask water bottles, so we just got him this kid size one. He's still a baby, he's still learning how to use this kind of harder straw instead of the softer straw that some baby bottles have. But as he grows older, it will be good for him to also have an insulated water bottle while we're traveling. Up next is our homeopathic travel remedies kit by Bowiron. So this has a lot of different homeopathic remedies that you might encounter while you're traveling. One that I will probably be using is this one for motion sickness. My seven-year-old son gets motion sickness, especially in the car. So a lot of times if we go on longer car rides, I will give that to him as a preventative measure. I went over the contents more in this in my separate video that I can link below. Up next, I have a wipes pouch by Orchid Heart Design, and I have some of these extra large water wipes. Our family usually uses all like reusable, washable options, so even cloth napkins, but when I was packing, I just realized it was getting really bulky to use all reusable options. So I figured these extra large water wipes, I can clean up my baby if he happens to be really messy, but also my kids after they're eating snacks and stuff. It would just be nice to have, or if we wanna wipe our face to freshen up, Next up, I have a Logan Lenora clutch with my baby's meal kit in it. It has two waterproof pockets. This has an OXO top bib with one of those little catch pockets. So he drops most of his food as he's eating it and it falls into the pocket. And then I have an easy peasy set here. If you've watched some of my other videos, this is the same set from when we were traveling with my daughter. It's the bowl that kind of suctions onto the table, the little cup, which he uses all the time at home, and the little spoon. I do have one burp cloth. Perhaps he might spit up or even just to clean up any kind of mess while we're on the plane. I figure it's nice to have a burp cloth. Just use it kind of like a towel. So this is more like the outfit I have that he may wear on the airplane. He'll be wearing a long sleeve shirt already. Then I have some long lamington merino wool socks for him. This is a long sleeve, very lightweight, so similar to his long sleeve shirt, except this one is a little hoodie. So our whole family likes to wear hoodies on the airplane, keeps your ears protected when the air conditioning's on. We do plan to have him in the bassinet when he's sleeping. We booked a bassinet seat for him, so I'm excited to see how that goes. And then he has this really thin, lightweight, grow with me, jogger style, wool jersey pants, so he could change into these if he needs an extra pair of pants. And then just a really simple cotton, all one piece outfit, perhaps when we arrive if he's too hot and I wanna change him right away at the airport so he's not sweltering when we get to Thailand. And this is a wet dry clutch, so that had all the clean dry items. If I need to put soiled wet items somewhere, then this is a waterproof pocket here. Oh my gosh, and it has a cloth wipe. Well, I better throw that in the wash. Over in the corner here, I have the charger for my laptop and I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro back here. I did order a carrying case protective sleeve to use with this. I'm still waiting for it to come. And this bit bigger bag, I got this bag at Target. This has our do-it-yourself natural first aid kit. I showed what's in this in a separate video. I did add just a couple more items since that video. I added my baby's nail clippers and I added the thermometer. If anybody starts to feel like they have a fever, I have some homeopathic remedies to try to combat that. We also have some little Arnica pellets that are for baby for pain relief as well. I will link in the description box my video for all the rest of the contents of our first aid kit. 
So I have this pretty much completely pouch packed. I'm not really using the pockets here much. There is a slip pocket here. This little pocket is where I was putting the rattle, so that's nice. There's a back pocket here. I think I might have put one item, I did. So since we cloth diaper, um, we use little fasteners with the diapers and I have some packed in my other bag with cloth diapers, but I have all the rest in here. So these are just backup ones, just in case we were to need an extra one. And there is a little key leash here. I'm not using that at the moment. So that's pretty much everything that I will have in this bag. And this is what I want to keep right with me on the airplane whenever we're allowed to have bags down. Since we are planning to have the bassinet seats, that means there's sort of a wall in front of us, not really a seat in front of us to put a bag under the seat in front of you. So I don't know, sometimes this may have to go up above. And if that happens, then this blanket is the one thing that will definitely be staying at the seat with me. All packed up, this is weighing in at about six kilograms. We're going to be flying Singapore Air and they allow one carry-on bag plus one personal item that can be like a backpack, laptop bag, or diaper bag. So this is my diaper bag and it is right about that six kilo limit, but they probably won't check anyways. If you're interested in what I have packed as far as cloth diapers and a travel potty, I have a separate video showing that over on my ECPZ channel.